The other day, I woke up to an email from DistroKid saying that all of their users now have access to Spotify Canvas. And I was so excited about this new feature, I just had to jump on and make a video right away because I'm so excited to show you exactly how you can use Spotify Canvas and show you exactly what it is. Spotify Canvas is essentially a way to bring your album artwork to real life with a short three to eight second video loop that plays on Spotify while someone's listening to your song. It's this new feature that Spotify's only just slowly rolling out to some featured artists. And luckily now, if you're a DistroKid user, you are one of those people. So let me jump into the computer, show you exactly what it is and how you can go about making one for yourself. By the way, my name's Cody. Hello. I make music related content just like this. So be sure to subscribe if you want more up to date information just like this video. And if you find it helpful, be sure to drop a like down below. It really helps me out. So let's jump into the computer. Okay, so what is Spotify Canvas? Well, Spotify says engage your fans in a whole new way with Canvas, a short looping visual you can add to each of your tracks on Spotify. It's album artwork for the streaming age. And you can see right here, we have a little snippet of Billie Eilish's My Future playing. And it's basically just a three to eight second clip that plays over and over and adds a little bit more life to the song and a little bit of personality to it. So if we scroll down, we can see a ton of different examples. There's a Billie Eilish one here, a Harry Styles, Doja Cat. And they're basically just these short little looping videos, um, similar to what you might see on Instagram Reels or TikTok, or even YouTube now has these shortened videos on there. And so it's basically just another way to engage with your fans and have some sort of media playing while they listen to your song. So as I said, Spotify has only been slowly rolling this out to users on the platform, but luckily, if you are a DistroKid user and you've uploaded your music to Spotify using DistroKid, you will have access to this right now. It's an immediate feature for all DistroKid users. So if you don't use DistroKid already, I do have a link down below that'll save you 7% off your first year if you wanna go ahead and sign up. Um, totally up to you. I personally love DistroKid. I've been using it for three years. It's my go-to and this is a huge, huge feature just knowing that by using them that you're going to be able to use Canvas by Spotify. So that's one really great feature with DistroKid, but there's there's so many more I could list. The list goes on forever. So this is my Spotify for Artists page under the Music tab, and you'll see right here there's this new Views category. So you'll see that only two of my videos have views, and that's because I have added uh, canvas to them. So if I go up to the top, you can see manage canvas. But if I go to a song that doesn't have any views yet, I have the option to add canvas. And this is brand new. I literally got the email from DistroKid and I went on and checked right away and this was a feature. So I immediately uploaded two of the songs and this was only two days ago now. And they've already got some views, which is really, really cool. So if I want to go ahead and add canvas to one of my Spotify songs, it's as simple as just clicking add canvas and it's going to pull up this little prompt. Now, Spotify does have some rules and some things that you need to follow to upload or else it will get rejected. Uh, but but it's pretty simple and it's it's nothing too crazy. So let me just show you exactly what you need to do. URLs and call to actions are prohibited. Uh, if used, text should be relevant to the track. Now, personally, I'm not one to use text on any of my stuff. Maybe it was like a snippet of lyric video or the title doing some animation, um, but you don't want to say, check us out on Instagram, for example. Spotify will not allow that, they'll reject it because um, that would be a call to action or if you link to your merch store or something like that. They just want to make sure that nothing like that's in there. Now, they say you can preview your camera this with player controls before uploading. I think that's always a great idea to preview it and make sure that it actually looks good. And at the bottom here, canvases that don't follow our policies will be removed. Of course, Spotify's got to follow their own policies and make sure that everything's in terms with their agreements. So just make sure you follow the rules. They're, they're pretty straightforward and pretty easy. Now, in terms of the actual file that you're going to upload, it needs to be a 9 by 16 ratio. So normally when you look at a video, it's widescreen like this, like the one that you're watching on YouTube. Basically, that's 16 by 9. 9 by 16 is just turned this way. So it's the same stuff that you're gonna see on your Instagram stories or on TikTok, those are all nine by 16 aspect ratios. Now, it needs to be at least 720 pixels tall. So if you're working in iMovie or Adobe Premiere and you're setting up your page, make sure that it's at least 720 pixels tall. I'd recommend going even higher. Uh, typical aspect ratio for nine by 16 is 1080 by 1920. So I'd recommend those dimensions, but again, it's totally up to you. It doesn't have to be that big. It is only gonna be on your phone, but the more pixels that it is, the better quality that's going to be. Now, you need to make sure that you upload an MP4 or JPEG file, and it can be three to eight seconds long. That's obviously only for MP4s because JPEGs are just a photo format. Now, once you've read through the rules and all the file requirements, you think your file's ready to go, all you have to do is go ahead and click on your canvas and drag and drop it right onto here, and it's going to upload with a preview. And so you're going to get to see it immediately, instantly, in real time. So you'll see that the video that I had for this was a 16 by 9 aspect ratio but I needed it to fit in this nine by 16. So all I did was I doubled it and I blurred out 
out the background one, and then just had this one playing a little bit smaller. And you'll see when it plays on Spotify, it actually looks pretty decent. It doesn't occupy the whole screen, but you get to still see the entire width of the video without losing anything um, from the shot. So if you want to know how to make something like this, drop a comment down below. Uh, I reply to pretty much every single comment, so just ask me to show you a step-by-step -step process on how to do this, or I could even make a video showing you how to do it. Uh, this is really, really easy. It probably only took me five to 10 minutes to make, and if, if you have no knowledge at all of how to do it, I'd say max 30 minutes. It's, it's a really, really easy process once you know what you're doing. So um, yeah, drop a comment down below if you want to see something like that. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that not all phones will have the same 9 by 16 aspect ratio. The iPhone X, for example, is a little bit slimmer, so you can preview what it looks like on the iPhone X, and you'll see it just cuts off the sides a little bit, uh, but that's really no big deal, unless you have some important information on the sides there, but that's just something to keep in mind when you're actually creating the canvas in your video editing software. So from there, all you have to do is click next, read through the short little terms and agreements um, from Canvas, making sure that it's all uh, good to go and that you're following all the guidelines, not doing anything earlier that uh, I said that you can. It's, it's really simple, so you just agree and then you click post. Now, this isn't actually the video that I want for this song, so I'm not gonna post it, but you seriously just press post, it processes, and literally within one minute, it was up on Spotify. So I will show you exactly what that looks like on my phone. Cool, so there you go, it's up, it's running, and actually the quality looks really, really good with it. I'm so impressed, um, and it was so easy to make, so easy to do, so easy to upload, and it looks great. It's just another wicked feature that Spotify has and has been slowly implementing to all of their users. Now, like I said, not everybody's gonna have access to this. Uh, they're slowly rolling it out and offering it to people, um, just kind of in seg segments, testing it out, making sure that everything's all good and that it's working properly. So, like I said, if you are a DistroKid user, this is one, one huge feature of DistroKid that I think it's so worth signing up for. Like I said, I have a link down below if you want to check it out and if you want to sign up yourself. Once again, totally up to you, but as I said, like this Spotify for Canvas thing is just so cool, and I think it's another way that when someone listens to your music for the first time, it's gonna help them engage and connect with you a little better. Now, this was just a snippet of a music video for the song that I used. What I think is even better is if you have a moving image of yourself, kind of like a GIF. I think this is a really cool way for someone who's listening to your music for the first time to see who you are and get a better understanding of your style and what you're into. A uh, profile picture only goes so far, and even your header image, you know? It's a good-looking studio photo of you most times, but it doesn't get your personality and who you are. This way, when someone listens to your song, you have eight seconds to say, hey, this is us as an artist, this is what we do, this is who I am, uh, I hope you like it, basically. So I think that by using Spotify for Canvas, you're gonna find a better way to engage with your fans, as Spotify says right on their website. So what do you think of this new feature from Spotify? I know personally, I absolutely love it, and I'm gonna be adding a canvas to all of my songs this week. I think it's such a good way to engage with your existing fans and help build connections with new fans. When they see your face or see this cool little eight second video of you doing whatever, or even just a part of a music video, it's gonna bring a new light to the song. I know every time I watch a song with a music video, I hear that song in a different way. Us as humans are such visual creatures. Our sight is one of our strongest senses, so it really changes the way that we perceive everything in the world, including the way that we hear music. So I think that by adding just a short little visual to your song is really gonna help improve your engagement and how many fans that you get over the long run. Anyways, I hope you found this helpful. Once again, if you do like this content, be sure to drop a like down below. It really helps with me and my channel. And don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good one.